Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this pop-up in Far Cry 6 game that is low amount of available VRAM. Now, if you are receiving this pop-up whenever you play the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to make sure that you have enough video RAM. Also, you can go ahead and close the game. So, if the game is running, go ahead and close the game. Then restart Ubisoft Connect. So, if Ubisoft Connect is open, go ahead and close it, quit it and then Go ahead and try to launch Ubisoft once again and after the relaunch if there is any update happening go ahead and let the update complete and let the game also update and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Now the next step is to restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now this has worked for many players so it might work for you just restart your computer and that should go ahead and fix the pop-up. Now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and disable notification and in-game overlay in Ubisoft Connect. So go ahead and launch Ubisoft Connect and click on this three horizontal line and then click on settings. Now under the general tab over here you can see the option which says enable in-game overlay for supported games. So go ahead and uncheck this box. Scroll down. Now over here you can see notification under notification you have to go ahead and turn off this enable in-game notification. And you can go ahead and turn off enable desktop notification and then launch the game and that pop-up should go away. You can also disable the notification from game. So in game you can go ahead and press the escape key and over here you can see the Ubisoft connect option. And then on the sidebar over here you can see the settings. So click on settings and from here you can go ahead and disable the notification. So you can go ahead and turn this off. Now the next step is to turn off HD texture pack for this you go ahead and launch the game first so click on play. Now in game you can go ahead and press the escape key on the keyboard then go to options and then go to video and then go to quality. Now over here you can see HD texture you can go ahead and turn this off. So in my case it's already off in your case. If HD texture is on, you go ahead and turn it off and then check and that should go ahead and fix the error. Now still you are receiving the pop-up in that case, you can go ahead and uninstall HD texture pack. For this, you can go to Ubisoft Connect, click on the game and under overview, scroll down. Over here you can see owned DLC. Under this, you can find HD texture pack and right now here you can see the uninstall option. So if you want, you can go ahead and uninstall this. Click on uninstall and after the uninstall you can go ahead and try to launch the game and you should not receive that pop-up anymore. Now the next step is to go offline. Now this has worked for many users so if you want to go ahead and do it. So it's totally your choice. So you click on the these three lines and then click on go offline and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game and that pop-up should go away. Now the next step is to close all the background application including your browser. So when you're running the game make sure only the Ubisoft connect and the game is running rest you can go ahead and close all the application including the browser also close all the browser. The next step is to perform clean boot for this go ahead and type in system configuration in Windows search box then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply ok you will see the restart option restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to disable startup application. So you can go ahead and make a right click on the start menu then click on task manager and go to the startup tab and then disable startup application. So whichever application you can go, uh, want to disable you can go ahead and disable. So try to disable the application which you no, don't need at startup. So you can go ahead and select it and then you can go ahead, go ahead and click on disable. So disable the startup application and then try to launch the game. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. For this, you can go ahead and type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box. Then click on view advanced system settings. Go to the advanced tab, then click on settings. Click on advanced tab once again, then click on change. And then uncheck the box which says automatic, automatically manage paging file. Uncheck this and then select the drive on which the game is installed. In my case, it's D drive. So select the drive and then Put a check on the box which says custom size and over here you have to go ahead and write down the initial size. Now the initial size is actually the total RAM into 1.5. So uh, 
if in my case the total ram in my computer is 8 gb so it's 8 gb into 10224 that is 8 gb in megabyte that is 8192 and the initial size is total ram into 1.5 and then is equal to 12288 so you can go ahead and type in this is for 8 gb ram Eight. Now, the maximum size would be three times the initial size. So, if uh, initial size is twelve two eight eight, in case my RAM is eight GB, so three times the initial size into three is maximum size. So, it will be thirty six eight six four. And then you can go ahead and click on set. Then click on OK ok apply ok ok and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. so to increase the virtual memory you can go ahead and follow this calculation now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia go to nvidia website if you have amd go to amd website so i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select your graphic cards from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system then click on search and then click on download and again click on download and once the download is complete run this exe file then you will see this screen click on agree and continue then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then try to launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this go ahead and type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then open bin folder and select the game exe file then click on add and once this is added click on options then select high performance then click on save again click on browse and then go back over here and then open bin plus folder and then select the game exe file then click on add and once this is added click on options select high performance then click on save and then try to launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel